Hey you guys, I wanted to make a little mini album with these cute little stickers. They're each about three inches and I thought that they would be darling in a, in a mini album. Uh, my mom, this is her jam. So this is what I'm gonna make for her. This is out of a Voices of Courage Love is Love um, kit from Click Kits. But to make this mini album, you, you really could use anything. But this is the lovely paper that came with it, two sides of each. So I'm showing you the alternate, alternate sides here. That's pretty well. So fun. Okay. And then it also came with this really great washi tape. Some pretty sequins. Some really fun acrylic little bits. Some enamel stickers that are like a wood chipboard. Puffy rainbow stickers. And then also this is, let's open this up. Hey, I can even use the bag in this for something. Cute little notes in today. So let's go ahead, get started on how you can make this mini album. You are gonna wanna use two sheets of pattern paper for this technique to make this little mini album. And you're going to cut down five strips measuring three and a half by 12. So you're gonna to wanna to cut five of these down. And then the other strip, you are going to cut down into a four by 10. And we'll do that one in a minute. So with these five strips that are three and a half by 12, you are going to score at the three and a half line, at the seven line, and then at the 10 and a half line. So you're going to do that for one, two, three, four, five strips. Then for your strip that's four by 10, you are going to score at the four inch line at the four and a half inch line, and at the eighth and one fourth line. So four, four and a half, eight and one fourth. And this is a four by 10 sheet. I just took a piece of black card stock and cut it down to a 3.25 by 3.25 square because it creates a really nice mat for these stickers that I wanted to use from the kit to be featured in this mini album. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place that right like that. And now I have all of these stickers ready to go into the album. And I like to put this in before I start to assemble the album because it just is kind of easier because I'm going to get this really long accordion thing going and it's a whole lot easier just to have this pretty much done beforehand. I chose to mat it on a black cardstock because the background can be a little bit busy and it just looks really nice and an easy place for your eye to rest. So let's go ahead and put our stickers in onto the accordion I album. Clarify something. And I almost deleted it out of the video, but then I thought, no, I really like it when you guys can see me struggle through and figure stuff out. I think it just keeps it more honest and real. But I had said to go ahead and get all of your little stickers and pictures on and then adhere it and that won't work. And the reason is because you have to adhere it with one accordion strip lined up to this little spot right here that, that has the, um, that folds the crease. You don't wanna cover the crease, but you need to line it up. And I didn't do that. And so I got one completely done and here it was, okay. And uh, I actually ended up cutting this off. And then I realized that I would have to do it like that, which would screw up the fold. So I tore them off and I'm gonna go ahead and adhere them to another one uh, and finish this up. So what you wanna do is after you get done doing one, you wanna go ahead and take it and adhere it and add your um, more pictures from there. So I'm just gonna use 
some of this. And the reason why I am using this side is because there's hearts. So I wanna make sure that I get the direction of the hearts going in the right way. And so there, and see, look what I did there. I am actually, look, I am with it today. So I'm just gonna make sure that folds, that does. Just be respectful of your crease, right? Okay, because you wanna keep it, you don't wanna cover it, you just wanna kinda line it up. And then we're gonna go over from here and I'm gonna take those ones that I had torn off of the other sheet and I'm just going to cover this since I have that, um, uh, glue right there. All right, so I'm gonna get that done. And then here is the other one, okay. Like so. So I'm just gonna troubleshoot this with you right now because I messed up. And I'm gonna show you how I kind of work through my problem, okay? So the, these edges aren't obviously going down because I tore them up. So I have to use a little bit more glue on the edges, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, flip this over, do two here. that and then like this one I know this isn't very fun but I don't really want to delete it out because I think it's beneficial all right so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this I had to actually end up tearing all of that off because it just did not work so you're going to put your glue on this side of the tabby. That way you won't be, get a big gluey mess. And I'm just making sure that I line it up right along that crease. And then these are going to fold up so you don't have to take up a ton of space on your um, work surface here. And then I'm just gonna see how many of these I need because I have a total of five. So I'm gonna make this part of the front cover of this little project. And um, I'm going to do two on this side and two on the other side. And then we'll use this to adhere. And I'll actually use this on the base. So now I kind of have an idea. All right, so I'm just doing two. So from here, I don't need these two extra pieces, but I do need this one to adhere. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off this excess right here. And I will end up putting this on it. Now, if I have my book closed like this with this, so it like opens like that, I think that's how I want it. So I want to and then I'm going to take this one There we go. Now from here, since I have this crease right here that actually worked out real nice, it gives a nice edge. I wanna go ahead and actually crease that too. So I'm gonna take my bone file out again 
and I'm going to do about a fourth of an inch. Looks like would be good. Like at the one and one fourth line. And now, there we go. So, now we just have to decorate it, but here we go. So it opens up and then voila, you have it that way. Then you can put it back in and then you also can go that way. And you only ended up needing three of the three and a half by 12 strips. You'll still need two pieces of paper, but you'll just need the three by three and a half. So I'm gonna decorate this up with the rest of the kit and uh, come back and show you what it looks like when it's done. Oh, and I just noticed that this one, my heart's upside down on that side. It's right side on that one, but that's okay. I will work with it and I will, uh, come up with something so you can't really tell. We're just seeing all of the oopses today in crafting, but that's okay, it'll still look great. And you can make yours great too. Don't give up if you end up making a couple mistakes along the way. This is what I finished up the album with. Basically just took the washi tape and then layered on this really fun chipboard type rainbow. I left it bare because I thought that there was a lot of color already involved. For the latch, I took my powder pouch and just powder that area and that basically makes it so that it doesn't stick permanently on this one section and then I just put the two day up here and then you can just open it up and there you go see all the pretty love stuff and then you can do it this way to see the other side so this is a really great little project to do with two pieces of paper and uh, you can make a really cute little mini album and again I just use my click kits voice of courage love is love kit for this so if you're interested in that I will have the click kits um, information listed down below you can go ahead and check out their store I know that they're releasing new kits um, I think there's some Halloween and Christmas ones over there too so go check them out and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you consider doing so. If you enjoy paper crafting techniques and learning how to do stuff like this, I'm your girl. I also try to keep it pretty real. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I also will have for you listed in the description box the measurements of this so that you can make one of these too. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden. Happy crafting!